Hello everyone. So are you ready for another study today? Mouse in the house. That is going to be our story. The author of the story is Saumya Rajendran and the illustrator is Tanaya Vyas. And the publisher is Pratham Books. There was a mouse in the house. Grandma saw it first. Mouse! She screamed, jumping up the sofa. The cushions fell on the floor. So here is our hero, the mouse, and he has come inside the house. And grandma was the first one to spot it. She saw it first. And she started screaming, Mouse! She jumped up on the sofa. She went up the sofa. And all the pillows or the cushions that were there on the sofa just fell down. Where? asked Pa, climbing up the window. He pulled the curtains down. There! shouted Ma, leaping up the table. The plates fell with a crash. So Pa comes and asks, where is it? And he starts climbing up the window, holding on to the curtains. Look at him, he's holding on to the curtains. And then Ma shouts, there! And spots the mouse on the table. And all the plates and bowls that were on the table fell down with a crash. Just broke. Catch him, said Mithun to the cat. The cat looked at the mouse and fled under the bed. Mouse, screamed Mithun, running behind the cat. So they have a cat also. So Mithun, the small boy, tells the cat, go catch the mouse. But the cat looked at the mouse and fled. What is fled? Ran very quickly, escaped, and it went under the bed. Now Mithun was scared. So he started shouting, mouse, and he went behind the cat, and he also went under the bed. I will chase it out, said Ma bravely. She took out the broom and poked here and there. Mouse, shouted Pa. Behind you, Ma looked at the mouse and fled under the bed. So Ma became very brave. Lot of courage she had. She said, I will chase it out. She took the broom. Broom is something that, that we all use to sweep the floor. And she started poking here and there. What is poking? Pushing with a long stick or something. You're pushing something or someone with a long stick. Here they are using a, Ma is using a, a broom. So with that, she was poking here and there. She pushed here and there. But where was the mouse? The mouse was right behind her. She then looked at the mouse and she ran under the bed with Mithun and the cat. She also went under the bed. I know what to do, shouted Grandma, jumping down from the sofa. She rolled up a newspaper and poked here and there. So now grandma also became very brave. She said, I know what to do. She got down from the top of the uh, sofa. She had a newspaper. She nicely rolled it up and started poking with that here and there. Mouse, yelled Pa, climbing the window even higher. To her left, grandma looked at the mouse and fled under the bed. So while grandma was poking somewhere else, it was right next to her. Grandma also looked at the mouse and 
he immediately went under the bed with the rest of them. Ma is there, Mithun is there, the cap is there. Now, grandma also joins them. Oh no, said Pa softly. He couldn't go any higher. He climbed down carefully and fled under the bed before the mouse could see him. Now, Pa is upset. Why? Because he couldn't climb any higher. He has reached the top already. So what he does? He climbs down carefully and he makes sure that the mouse is not seeing him. And he also joined the rest of the family under the bed. Mouse in the house! shouted everyone together. That woke baby up. She sat up on her mat, rubbing her eyes sleepily. What was that on her pillow? So all of them who were all under the bed started shouting, mouse in the house. So this noise woke up the baby. The baby was sleeping. So the baby woke up and she sat up and then she's rubbing her eyes. She's, she just woke up, right? So she's rubbing her eyes. And what did she see on her pillow? Yes, you guessed it correct. The mouse is now on the, the baby's pillow. It had two eyes, four feet and a long tail. Mouse! said baby, clapping happily. Baby looked at the mouse and the mouse fled with baby right behind him. Baby, she is observing the mouse. The mouse has two eyes, four feet it has and a long tail. And the baby Instead of getting scared, it is very happy. It's clapping happily and said, Mouse! And now the mouse got scared. The mouse started to flee. Fled means running. That is trying to escape, run and escape. While the baby is now behind the mouse. Leaping up the sofa, climbing the window, jumping up the table and tumbling over the cushions. Now what? The mouse wants to escape. Where is it going? It's where it went up the sofa, climbed the window and jumped on the table again and went over all the cushions that had fallen down. Running in between the curtains, scurrying over the plates, and out of the door. So now what, what is the mouse doing? It ran in between the curtains. Between the curtains it's trying to run, scurrying, running quickly over the plates, scurrying over the plates and went out of the door. It is out of the house. Let us look at some of the difficult words that we saw in today's story. Poked, to push somebody or something with a finger, stick or other long thin object. We are trying to push somebody or something with a long stick or something. Leap, to jump high or a long way. Flee or fled. What does that mean? To run away or escape from something. Fled is the past tense of the word flee. Scurry. To run quickly with short steps to hurry. Try these questions. Are you scared of a mouse? Write in detail how your mother, father and other members in your family would react if they see a mouse in your house. Your sister, brother, whoever is there in your house. Tell us how they would react if they see a mouse. Did you enjoy today's story? It was quite a funny story, right? I really liked it. Until next time.
बाय